then I guess Charlie, what are you doing? I will contact my people. Okay. Hi, hi, hi. But I uh, feel for that conversation, it needs to be moved to a private chat. Okay. Wow. All, all that's, the... that's hurtful. That just means they're going to listen to it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, private chat it is. Hello? Can you Can hear, hear me? me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to reach out to them. Okay. Uh, do, do I need to say exactly what I'm going to say? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have located an artifact out in the area of the woods that I would know their name, but I can't think of right now. Nahani Valley National Park. I, I and then the Nahani, yeah, that I have found in located in an artifact it is that these coordinates I have sent a document with all the information I have found involving it there are also two specimens who are currently taking refuge in the abandoned near mill nearby the town do we need to uh, apprehend these as well of uh, they know a lot about the process, and they're potentially a danger to the public. It would probably be best. Very well. We'll get that going. That's it? That is it. There is another creature out here somewhere, but we have been able to get captured at this point. Alright. Keep us updated. Will do. Over and out. I'm going okay, back. Okay, and that is... Yep, me too. I just... Yeah. Hello. Hello. I think you are going to be very displeased with one of the things that just happened in that conversation. Oh. They don't know about it. I know. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Sold it to the secret military. <laughs> I never did. Anyway. Sure. Are you done here with your doodles, Frankie? Yes. Okay. Um, so, Victor, what are you doing? Because I got a day to kill, so I think I'm gonna go and talk to my girlfriend, Olivia. Really? <laughs> that's that's how you've chosen to no. spend your day? No. I mean it's exactly the what afternoon. I was I'll go and plunk myself down at the uh bar. I'll probably ask Maxine if she wants to go with me. I think I think Maxine is a day drinker for sure. And it's four o'clock somewhere. Give me a yeah. flask to light That's right. Elias's well, house you know, on fire. Of course you're you never there. know. You never know whether what's going to come up or who you have to bribe with a little. Some some girls just get thirsty. Mm-hmm. It's gin o'clock somewhere. Okay, yeah. So going to the bar, see who's there. See if those guys were there. Those. those Abercrombie uh, Eduard, and Pete. Yeah, yeah. Um, Eduardo and what was the other one's name? Giuseppe. Matteo. Giuseppe. Matteo and Eduardo. Uh, you go to the bar at two, or sorry, three in the afternoon, and no, uh, there's not a whole lot of other people there. 
That's a okay. That's a, that's a disappointment. I wasn't going to see people. I was going to drink. Um, well, then mission accomplished. Yeah. I believe his name is Walter, and he is there. Oh, That'd be the bartender? No, is that the guy with the goggles? No, no Walter is the bartender. I'm pretty sure. Elijah. Elijah. Eze Ezekiel, but okay. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Well, Elijah had to be an E name. Okay, I don't just have E names. Um, I think we've proven that. What I'm looking actually the names incorrect. that I the names that I can see right now, not a single one of them is an E name. Um. So the other three right. quarters of our E's are on a different list? Yeah. Wow. That's um, just the E list. Yeah, it is Walter, who is also not, that is also not an E name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, gonna be regulars, are we? Uh, what can I get for you guys? Um, I would like a gin and t Oh, actually... Can you make me a bramble? I have no idea what that is, but I'll look it up for it. That would be fantastic. If you're able to. Make and uh, I'll have a whiskey sour. Sounds like a plan. So he goes behind the bar, pulls out his phone. Google's bramble. Yes. Are you guys talking at all? Or are you just here to drink? Well, it's like, I don't know if I want to bring up the... The tragedy that happened. Or if anybody else has seen anything. Because we knew that that was Rachel before, like I said. It's like, we know, we know what the past ones were. The past two, uh... Not the past two, but the past couple years has been either Rachel or Jason. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out how long this thing has been going on for. What? I don't know. Years, I imagine. According to the sheriff, and he only knows back, you know, six years or so. So, I don't know. It's like, are we ever going to be able to find out, like, where it came from? Well, that's why I was kind of hoping about that scientist maybe help us, but I don't now know. I don't the know. Risk, the risk of it being or or finding that map that with. Frankie lost. Yeah, that's oh, that's that was a thought that was in my head. I wonder if Victor ever thinks about that. Because how far did you get, Victor, when you were running into the woods? Is that also in your head, or are you? No, I'm asking? actually asking you. I'm asking out loud. Do you remember that map? Yeah. What about it? And we never, nobody ever came across that, eh? Oh, wind could have blown it away. I don't know. Yeah. I ran the whole way to the cave, <laughs> checked in it as far as we went, and then ran back until you called so if it was on that path i'm sure i would have found it weird so, so weird yeah i don't know i'm the map i'm the map I'm... frankie's just got their own little tune and it's like i have or no i have the map i have the map. <laughs> I guess back to Frankie again. What is your plan? I want to follow the map and not tell anyone. But I don't. I want to figure out how far this is first before I decide to do that. How are you planning on doing that? Um. I really don't want to go to the hunting lodge but i might you're gonna go talk to your best friend edmund 
Oh. Only guy there will be Edmund. The other great person is there. You mean Tobias? Unless. Isn't that what I said? Yes. Oh, you cut out. I didn't hear. I heard the other great person is yeah. there. Yeah, Tobias. Unless Tobias. The boss gets. Before I have to ask Eddie. Um, I mean, it's possible, I guess. So what are you, what are you going to do? Are you going to go to the hunting lodge or what? Yeah, I guess I'm going to go to the hunting lodge. Okay. You're walking or skateboarding? Uh, yeah, I'll board down there. That's right. I forgot they had that. Yeah, they, they got themselves a long board. Right. Okay. So you hop on your longboard and head down to the lodge. Um, there's a bunch of cars parked outside. You get inside and there's a, a large number of hunters inside. About 10 on Tuesday. What? Nothing. Okay. Um, you said about the hunters. What yeah, and then I hunters? and then I heard twelve ten on Tuesday. Um. So there's a large number of hunters inside, and they're all talking amongst each other. Um. I I guess technically you would have been at the town meeting last night. Yeah. Um, and you hear them all talking about it. About the curfew? Uh, not the curfew so much as, like, we're going to track down this wild animal and kill it. <laughs> um. I'm gonna try my best to not react to the comments but they will probably like inadvertently like snort at one of them being like oh, I could take it down it's not a big deal and just and just try to keep walking like oh I did that out loud whoops let me keep going you got a problem lady uh oh hey you got a problem That thing tore apart three grown men, and you think you can take it single-handed. Yeah, we got guns. Yeah, so did they. A lot of good that did them. Maybe it snuck up on them. We'll be all back to back. We got a plan. Mm. Sure. Good luck with that. Thanks. Won't be needing it from you. Oh, I got one question, though. What? What do you want your gravestone to read? Greatest hunter alive. And then he like high fives his friends and they turn around and cheer. Dumbest <laughs> hunter alive. Um, I'll just keep walking. Like, wait a minute. That's not what I said. Anyway. So you go and um, Tobias is at the counter and he's got three people that he's talking to. Um, are you just going to wait? Yeah, might as well. Try not to start any problems with anyone else in here. Gonna be difficult. I know. Um, as you're waiting there. Yeah, I think it's bad. I no as you're waiting there, the three people um are in front of you they seem like they're together though and then you're standing there and who should walk out from behind the counter but edmund um and he gives you like a death glare for a second grabs these three people and walks back to his office how can i help you 
Hey, Tobias. Hello again. Um, I was hoping that I could ask you, like, a more or less general question without having to ask him again. Um, I found this really old map, and I'm gonna just kind of, like, lay it out. I'm just trying to figure out... Newer maps don't line up as well, and I'm trying to figure out how far from town this would be. I can't really see anything on that map other than writing. Um, There's some, like, faded lines and, like, tree and stuff. Um, um, is there a place out here that people call, like, an enchanted waterfall? How about I set you up with a meeting uh, with uh, Maria and she's probably the best at deciphering this kind of thing. I think she actually has some sort of like degree in um, I think she's some sort of biologist or something in when it comes to flora and fauna. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. She'd probably be your best at that. She knows the area very well. Um, but yeah. Sure, that'd be cool. Alright. Um, oh, she's got an available uh, time slot in about 30 minutes. Uh, I, yeah, I guess I can hang out. That's fine. Thanks. No problem. Um... Try not to get yourself in any trouble. I am doing my best. There is a bar over to the right, if you'd like. That will probably help. Thanks. Next! And the group of hunters that all were high-fiving and cheering come over to uh, the counter. I'm uh, gonna mouth like, good luck real quick to him that's fair all right um victor and maxine yes are you are you wanting to talk more at all or we can i don't know was walter at that meeting or at the, at the town meeting, was yes. Was everybody at the town meeting? Yes. Well, we can it ask. Was pretty, it was pretty much a mandatory like... thing. Oh, you had to show up? Okay. Well, yeah, they were enforcing it. You know, oh. like they're letting everybody know there's a curfew, so. And that was last night? Yeah. Okay. So... Walter, was there a... Are you being affected by this curfew? Is I mean, it slowing down business? Yeah, I get most of my business after dark, so it is going to affect me a little bit, but um, not much I can do about it until they take out that animal. Yeah. What did you think of what they were saying? I mean, I can think whatever I want about what they're saying, and I can't go against the law, so. Oh, you're talking just the fact that they put on a curfew. What are you talking but about? But as long as people are safe. Well, I'm just saying as long as people are safe. Because it's like, that was terrible what happened to those guys. Yeah, but it's not the first time we've had animal attacks. Definitely won't be the last. What was the last one that you remember? Um, when they have bears coming into town. 
They actually saw the bears? Someone had to. Was it the same type of accident that happened where somebody was hurt like that? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Do you get a lot of wildlife through here? Yeah, we live in a forest. No, 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 but I'm just saying into town. I figure that, well, I guess if they're hungry enough, they'll come into town. I always thought the wild animals kind of took a wide berth of people, generally. Have you, have you lived in a town? They, if they're near, yes. if we're near trees, they're going to come in anywhere they want. Raccoons, foxes, rabbits, deer, coyotes, bears, whatever they want to do, they will do. Are you hearing that again? Sorry, we keep hearing that sound off and on, so I'm not sure whether somebody's popping in or not. I I didn't hear anything. Okay. Maybe it's just us on this end or something. Maybe you're disconnecting anyway, and reconnecting. We... <clears throat> oh, could be. Anyway, well, we hope this will be solved fast for you because we don't want you to lose any business. You make some pretty good drinks, Walter. Yeah, this isn't bad. Well, I've never made it before, so I'm glad it's good for you. But yeah, I'm hoping uh, there's definitely going to be a lot of hunters out in the woods. So I'm hoping this can be resolved pretty quick. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will. Good. That's what I like to hear. And then he goes back behind the bar. Charlie. Charlie. Yes. What are you doing? Nothing, because I don't know. Well, think of something that you want to do and do it. Because Frankie's a winner. I will do that. So what are you going to do? I have a nap. You have a nap. <laughs> what are you going to do? There's nothing for me to do. I did my thing. And I mean, you could go to the bar with Victor and Maxine. True. Yeah, I'll join them. Okay. So you head down from the lodge, from your room, and head out to the bar. Um... And the only people in the bar are Walter, Maxine, and Victor. Hello. So did you get your deed done? Your yeah, I contacted call? my people. Yes. So all is all is well though. We'll be able to deal with that right away. Yep, it shouldn't take too long. Did you get a time frame at all? No, but they usually act very fast. All right. Well, that's good. We need one more thing off our plate that we have to worry about. We emailed uh, Helena, so hopefully we'll get some response from her as to, well, we don't want, we don't want her to come, but so that she's not making a wasted trip. What are you drinking, Charlie? <sighs> Scotch on the rocks. Come right up. Walter. You, sounds like you guys are going to be my only customers for a bit if you uh, enjoy the day drinking. That's yeah, four o'clock somewhere. That's yeah, probably five. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, it is five o'clock somewhere. All right, well, um, I'll keep it coming as long as you're here. Okay. 
Frankie. We're just swapping yeah. between everybody tonight. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, you are waiting at the bar. Are you ordering anything? Um, I'll get a whiskey neat. Okay. While I wait. Okay. So you're just about What's done your drink. What's the name of her person that she's in? Look at us, your entire Maria. group at a bar in the afternoon. No, she's at a different bar. Yeah. Frankie's yeah, but we're still the... all at bars. Yes. It is true. Well, uh, her her, her name is. I guess we don't want to get too inebriated. Her name is Maria. Right. Maria, count me in. See, there's two very different songs where Maria. Yeah, it's two. Yeah, the Carlos Santana song, and then the emo song that Frankie decided to sing. Um. Okay, so this lady. Give me a sec. We're Don't gonna lick my drag eye. and drop into. Uh oh, you got she... a new one. Yeah, you haven't met her before. All right, Maria. Right. I thought you were gonna say she was like a specialist in cartography or something. No. This lady. She walks into the room. And she's like, all right, where's my next client? Uh, Tobias points over to the bar as you're just finishing your drink. And she walks over and she says, hello, um, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Maria. Um, how can I help you today? Uh, Frankie. Um, I came across this old map, but it's really faded. And I was trying to figure out, like, where everything was on a newer map, but it's... They look a little too different. All right. um, and I was trying to figure out how far that would be from town, like the full like trail, because I saw like notes on here about it. But um, well, assuming that some enchanted waterfall. Assuming that these notes are in the specific places that they're going to be, um, I can kind of help you out. Um, why don't you come with me? And she starts walking back towards Tobias to go to her office. Cool. Um, she takes you into the office. Um, there's plants all over the place. Um, different uh, clippings and stuff from the forest around you that has been um, propagated by whatever she does to do that. Wow, you really like plants. I hear laughing. I don't know from who. Like right outside. Is it TV? Right outside the door, maybe? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I could. Are they like. Because if they're up by the bench. Okay. Anyway, it's creepy because it's coming from right behind me and there's a wall behind me. Um. <laughs> Anyway, um, okay, so he sits you down, and she's like, all right, so the ruins, pretty obvious, that's the ruins, um, so that kind of gives us a good starting point. However, and then you, that one. she uh, kind of like points up a little bit higher, then you go to Whispering Pines, um, which I assume is Whispering Pines Trail. I would assume so i i don't know um then the winding river 
Um, there's one that has a lot of twists and turns in it. Um, it's the uh, it's along the Valley of the he Headless Men, if you've heard about that story or not. Sentinel Rock, um, a little bit further down the river, That's there's a really large rock there. Um, Cavernous Gorge, there's a bit of a cliff. Um, and then on the other side of the cliff, um, there's a very large waterfall. Kind of a sheer cliff face and the waters are cascading over it. Um, all in all, you're looking at about... Are you getting a guide or... What's your plan? Well, most likely, I wanted to try and see how far it was. Okay, first. well, um, if you're going by yourself, it's going to be a little bit harder, so that's why I'm gauging time-wise for you. If you're getting a guide, I'll give you a time for that. If you're not, I'll give you a time for that. Uh, well, it's probably going to be faster with a guide, so I'm probably going to get probably a guide. Get a guide? All right. Well, with that being the case, you're looking at about an 18-hour hike. Okay. And that's with no... Um, unfortunately, you won't be able to use any motorized transport for very long. You could get out to the ruins, and that's about it. Right. So, and I will give it to you as well. If you were to take this on by yourself, you'd be looking at probably about a 22-hour hike, just based on your expertise. Uh, you might be better at hiking, you might not be, but 22 hours is probably about average for you. But the thing He's is... He's calling I, you fat. I, not fat. <laughs> um, but I know all the shortcuts, I know all the um, ways to go, so... Okay. But if you want a guide, you'll have to pay for it. Was that it? Um How much to hire you to do this um hike? Well, my fee is about $50 an hour. Um 18 hour hike there, which means you'd be looking at about a $900 fee. Uh, 18 hour hike back, that's another $900, which you'd be looking at $1,800. Plus, I would pack all your rations and everything, so you'd be looking at about another $400. So, in total, about $2,200. Okay. Rations, camping uh, gear, things like that, because unfortunately, we can't walk 18 hours in a day. Right. If only, right? I mean, you would be dead by the end of it. It was a really bad joke. I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm joking with you as well. I'm, I understand it would be fun, but a normal person would die. Yeah, that's very true. Okay. Um. Well, if I can give me a day to think about it, and I'll let you know. Uh, thank you for helping me figure out this map, though, at the very least. I appreciate that. Um, I don't know. I'll give her, like, 200 bucks? I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Generous. <laughs> Here you go. Company card. Tap. Perfect. Very helpful. Oh, no. I don't want to piss another one off, alright? That's fair. We already two people in this lodge dislike two of us. It's too, too One's just a random hunter, though. No, I'm talking about and oh, then... Tobias's feud with Maxine? Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, it's it's on my feud list. The fact that you guys have a feud list and you haven't even been in town for... Have you been in town for like a week? 
is amazing. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So from there, it you... two of these are just like in the party. That's fair. Um, and it's just Charlie and Wyatt and Wyatt and Charlie. Are you guys heading? Uh, are you gonna head to the bar after this, or what's your plan? I guess I'll head to the bar. Okay. So you uh, pack up your stuff and uh, take your board to the bar where you meet up with Victor, Maxine, and Charlie. I'm going to tuck the map like all the way at the bottom of my like pack, though. Okay. Just think. Okay, um, you guys are all at the bar together. Wow, y'all start early. You betcha. Got to kill some time before the big day. Called it. Well, and we we might get a visitor. Yeah, too, Who a knows? Little surprise. Not much, but a lot. Is anybody thinking that he'll show up tonight? Yeah. 50, 50. I think he'll show up. Okay. Yeah, according to what Rachel said, I think he will too. Yeah, again, you gotta remember not to touch him. Yeah, speaking of Rachel, that's uh, quite the story there, eh? That, to remember that that's what you've done, that you hurt two families and whoever is something that she's going to have to live with for a long time. Well, hopefully her recovery is uh, a little better than Thomas's. Jason. 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 Jason's. Like Thomas. Thomas Jason's. Sure. I think actually I, it's, I think it's actually Jason Thompson. I think maybe. Yes. yes, it is Jason Thompson. There you go. Anyway. I don't uh, think that's I wonder what if he it. would help that her recovery. Oh, that's interesting. Because it's not like it's warm here right now. He has lived like this through two summers, though. Oh, true. Or one summer, at least. Yeah, but depending on when the transformation back happened, I don't know. It's not my job as a security person to figure that out. Ouch. Well, it's not your job as a gumshoe to figure it out either. Oh. It's a doctor's job. But Unfortunately, we don't have a doctor. Been, yeah. And like the thing is, it's like he doesn't want to see anybody. But neither does she now. So. I mean, people are. What if they can like. Talk to their loved ones without their loved ones having to like see them. I suggested that, but. She said that. She was worried about her sister having a fit. And it's like, I I was saying maybe taking a letter or something, but then. But then the person, the sister would have questions, want to see her, why can't I see you? That was the whole. Yeah. What if I, hey, we found a letter and started to <laughs> read it? Uh, you'd be like, guess what? Look what we found on the road here. In this cave. Or we put it in an envelope. In this burnt down hut. In like her mailbox. 
In this house that we burnt down, yeah. You know what? The more we drink, the better the ideas are going to get. Walter, another round. Coming right up. <laughs> Frankie's already had one at the other bar. All right. Um, going through... Damn, you said these symbols we didn't we've never seen anywhere, right? Like not even on the altar. Correct. Um I guess actually that wouldn't be a hundred percent true. I think the moon and the snake you would have seen on the altar. Okay. But there was also a bunch of other stuff on there. So I don't know necessarily that you would have seen those 100% because I don't know how investigative you were towards the altar when you were trying to smash it. Because that's what you Not were trying to do. Super, so. but I was wondering if like I can like vaguely remember kind of seeing I think Charlie actually took some, like, etchings of it. Correct? Yes. Yes. So, I guess Charlie would have... That large rock that we found. Oh, you mean these? You just carry them on you? He's got his... Maybe he's got it's a little in my... sketchbook in his pocket. In... Yep, yeah, let's go with that. Little did we, little did we know that Charlie's a poet and would take down like poems whenever he, the inspiration hit. You need to be ready. If you, you see a, if you see a really pretty hit. sunset, you know it just, just hits right. Um. Anyway, so yeah, he shows you the symbols and stuff, and the moon and the snake are, two of them. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, I was going through and looking at that book. <clears throat> and, um, uh, I thought I had seen two of the symbols that were in there before. Only two of them are on the altar, so I don't know if that helps. That was Rachel's book? Or was no. that Elias? The E. Blackwood book that I found. Oh, right. Okay. But yeah, they're like it's covered in cryptic symbols, but I thought maybe they were all connected, but they're And I thought maybe they coincided with the missing map, but from what I remember, there's not enough symbols to match the landmark. So, I don't know. I'm a little stumped. Did you just say something about a map? Yeah, I said there's not enough symbols to match what I remember from the landmark. Oh, okay. What map? The map we lost. You found it? Where'd you find no. it? I'm going off of memory here. Look, there's oh. five symbols. I thought you found the map. Oh. There were five symbols. If I'm remembering right, there were like six landmarks, which means that the symbols aren't like, hey, here's a symbol for every landmark. 
but I could be wrong. Well, you are going by memory, so you never know, right? I mean, that was like two days ago. Yeah, but I haven't stared at a whole lot of other papers lately until today, so I'm still kind of... It's a little fuzzy. Yeah, all I remember on the map was there was something about ruins, and we know where the ruins are. Um, ruins... Some kind of waterfall, and a bunch of shit in between. I have absolutely no idea. Did we? Oh, it's getting it's later. So I'm saying, did we go and look? look? Stuff like that, but I have no idea what these symbols have to do with that. I thought maybe the altar, but from the the etchings, that's clearly wrong. So like two of the symbols that were in the book are on the altar. A snake and a crescent moon. Well, that's interesting. Maybe a slight connection. Uh, if only we can... Did you ask your second <laughs> question when you did your investigate? I did not. Okay. Just reminding you you have to... Maybe. Maybe they're saving it. Trying to figure out how to ask it. Correctly. <laughs> well, because these questions suck. And I don't know how to... They're very specific. Yeah, I don't know how to twist it to what I want. That's the only thing my brain can think of is like, what does it mean? But I don't know how to apply that. <laughs> Fair enough. Unless you'll just let me ask, what the hell do these mean? Well, once you... And I don't want to hear like, this is an eye. This is a crescent. What? Once you get an advancement, you can uh, you can ask whatever you want. I, if I rolled a 12, I could have also asked whatever I wanted. No, that's that's the up. that's the advancement there. Yeah. The twelve plus is if you have an advancement in investigative mystery. As a twelve would still only be three questions. No, it's two. It pulled two, but you can ask any questions, not just the ones in list. No, that's what I was saying. Um once you if you look in your leveling up, uh one of the yeah. level up options is advanced you can choose to advance a basic move so when it says advanced on a 12 plus you have to pick to advance that specifically okay that'd be frankie's next thing to advance frankie's like i she need to start to failing some rolls i need to i need to uh get these Roll levels the one. going um you rolled two dice and got a one? How's that possible? I don't know. I managed it. I'm sure it's a fail. It's a two minus one. Ah. Yeah. Is a one 